Hey guys, it's Denisha with Rochelle Shea Flora. And first, I want to wish you all a happy, happy new year. I know 2020 was a rough one for most of us. But if there's anything to be said about 2020 besides it being rough was we had something to learn. And I hope each of you took the time to find out what was in your journey that you had to learn because I know I have learned a few things. And honey, all I can say is I'm sad that 2020 had to be so tragic, but I am also grateful that we did have a year like 2020 because Without this growth, we as human beings could not prosper without growth. So anyway, as you can see, I have one, two, three pots in front of me. And so this video is going to be about me potting up a few um, cuttings of different plants that I have that their roots have basically just well overgrown. They were um, water propagated. And so now it's, it's way past their due time to be potted up. So we're going to be using these pots. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm back now. And I want I just want to tell you a little bit about these pots. These pots I had acquired while I was away on vacation this past um exactly last month, my birthday was December 9th. Yay! So anyway, um shopping for souvenirs, I ran into these pots these this three piece pot set so as any other plant enthusiast you know we can't let things just settle so i had to pick these up i thought they were just the cutest look at these pots handmade hand painted anyway so i picked them up so we're going to start with the smallest one first potting up this syngonium and um, before we get into that, let me apply my old trusty glasses because a girl can't see. Okay. Oh, and I should mention, I am so made up because this is the first video I am doing for 2021. So I figured I would bring it to you in a sort of festive vibe and um, hopefully the, the music that I choose will, um, you know, make it all tied together. But anyway, yeah, this is not me on a regular basis. No, this is a special something to do for video number one of 2021. Okay, guys? So that's that. So anyway, like I said, we're going to start up with this Syngonium. This Syngonium, guys, I had this thing rooting forever. Can you see the roots? I know you can see the roots. These roots are ridiculous. Okay? Way past the point of needing to be potted up. So let's do her some justice. Get her all nicely potted up. I'm going to leave her off to the side and grab a few things. Okay, so first, I like to start out because this is a pot with a hole in it. And I don't want all my soil to just fall through the bottom. I like to start out by adding a... um coffee filter to this 
but I will have to cut this to size. So hold on one minute because I'm, I'm always forgetting something for a video. So let me go and find the scissors and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I am back, scissors in hand, and I just want to trim off some of the top part of this coffee filter. And let's see if that fits neatly inside our pot. Yes, I believe it does. Okay, and it won't stay in there because, of course, the inside of this pot is very, very polished. So, but anyway, we're not going to fight with that. Let's add in some soil for the bottom. Okay. I like to just dig a hole in the middle just to get a, an anchoring and uh, place the uh, place the plant in there. Let me see if I can get you a better view. Hold on one second. Okay, I think this is the closest that I can get you guys. It's kind of a weird angle, but we can make it work. Okay, so here's the cutting. I'm just going to place that right in the middle. And, uh, okay, wait, I'm going to need some more soil. So, I have some more soil here. This white stuff is a bunch of perlite, and I will be adding some Osmocote fertilizer. Just add a couple of that to the soil. And then I'm going to, I do want to pre-moisten the soil just a little bit. It just makes it easier for me. I know some people may not like to do it that way but i don't know for me i find it much easier to scoop out and place moistened soil rather than dry soil just because dry soil to me um i don't know it's too light it's too light <laughs> it's too light for me and it, it doesn't um i mean it falls nicely but the real problem is when you go to watering the plant, you know, because my soil has been dry for so long, it does not hold water. So the water passes straight through. So that's why for me, I have to pre-moisten my soil and like press it down into the water just to make sure all the air is out of the soil and it is absorbing it because if i was just to pot this up like i said it is just too much air it's too light water just passes through and that just will result result in the roots not getting you know the proper water that it needs to continue to grow and all my um fertilizer in here would just be going to waste because there's no water to, you know, make the nutrients come out in its time-released fashion. So, <laughs> I said all that to say I need to water my soil beforehand. And I do like a lot, a lot, a lot of pearl light. And this doesn't... I don't know if this coming across to you as a lot. It really doesn't look like a lot to me right now, but I can see my soil is taking up the water. It does look a whole lot 
heavier and denser. So, pre moistened soil. Okay, let me just add in this draw bit. Add that in. And I have a lot of other things besides perlite in here. I have wood chips. Uh, wood chips. I might even have some um, aquarium stone rocks. It's just because I reuse my soil. I don't throw out any soil. That is the purpose of this fertilizer. Because what's not in here, I just replenish. So, I'll put some of that in there. I like this as a scoop, so that's why I did just what you saw me do instead of using the spoon. Okay, so here we go with our cutting right in the center. Oh, and I'm right-handed. I'm about to block y'all. I did all this to block y'all. Okay. Okay. Now she's sitting upright. And now I'm going to continue to go around the edges. Yeah, I think you're going to need some more. Just a little bit, mm, just a little bit, baby. Okay, so I'm patting it down and I will water this again. But for now, here goes our white syngonium. Nicely potted up. She's pretty. So I'm gonna put her off to the side. And get me some more soil. For my next project. Well, it's really not a project. I am making such a total mess. And I put, <laughs> so funny. I put this little plastic thing here to catch all the soil but potting is a dirty business so it's a very very dirty dirty business i have to sweep my floor all over again but that's what we go through right guys nothing new that is what we go through okay so my next addition to the medium size pot that I got from Playa del Carmo Riviera Maya the medium size pot I'm not even really sure what size this pot is I don't know I want to say a four to six inch but I don't even know maybe a five inch I don't know I'm guessing but this is the medium size pot and I had this Chef Flera in this four inch pot for a while a while it's still a small little baby plant but i'm going to take her out of here because i feel like she's root bound i don't even really know i just okay there is some roots coming out the bottom there so now I do really know. 
What am I going to do with these rocks on top? Wait a minute. Let's take these rocks out. Sorry if that was too loud for you guys. <laughs> I thought about that after I threw these rocks in here. That might have been too loud. Hopefully not. Okay, I took out enough rocks. I'm just going to leave that in. Since today is Friday, this pot is already watered. So it should be nice and easy for me to just take the whole plant, root ball, dirt and all just out of this pot and place it in here. So that's my goal. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Again, trust the old coffee filter. And this time it does not look like I will need to cut it. I do not need to cut it. Thank you. Okay, put the bedding inside. And now let's take out this plant let's see how this goes i'm thinking it should be very easy that's what i'm thinking prove me right prove me right yes 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 and so let's see not too bad not too bad at all I probably actually could have left her in there. But, oh well, just going to get potted up in here. Okay. I'm so sorry guys if I get quiet when I work I just I have to concentrate sometimes you know sometimes you just have to shut the hell up and concentrate on what you're doing Okay, and now the Chef Flora is potted up nicely. And our next mission, dun 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 dun, is this cutting. Oh my God, I love this philodendron. Look at her, look at her, look at her, look at her. Look at her. This philodendron, oh my God. It is so beautiful. Look at her. Yeah, just take it in, take it in. She is so pretty. So, so pretty. I got her off of Etsy. Um. I did a video unboxing of this plant. Don't even know if I posted it up yet. I've been so busy. I have so many videos that I have to post and I don't know. But anyway, she's been growing in this glass vase for some time. As you can see, her roots are through the roof. 
go get it go get it go get it ow look at her roots y'all so yeah her roots are through the roof and um i figured she deserved the biggest pot out so that's why she'll be rooted up in here she's gonna be so pretty oh my god anyway let's put her back in there for a minute and get her pot together trusty coffee filter okay put her bedding in there we need some more we need some more more please bedding and now for the philodendron cutting let's see can you see that yes yeah, she goes in the soil okay is she in the middle let's see Let's check you out, philodendron. You all right? Right there? Okay. All right. Again, I apologize for the noise if it is annoying. I think I could put her a little bit taller because yeah I'm gonna put her a little bit taller come out of there come out of there and that's another thing too you guys don't be afraid to um, reposition your plant if you don't like the depth at which you know she's going in the um, in her pot take her out make her home right for her make it right make it right because we all like to be placed in our various homes we chose for ourselves and we made it right for ourselves so do the same for your plant babies make it right yeah i think that height is better and I don't have the soil prepared. Okay. Like I said. Y'all just got to bear with me. Okay. That's why I'm going to add some more asthma coat. And then I'm going to use her soil, her water, to pre-moisten this. Oh, and besides wishing y'all, you know, a happy new year, how was your new year? 
you know, how did you bring it in? I can tell you one thing. I brought mine in quiet. I can't even really say quiet. What I really mean to say is by myself, but not alone. Y'all, this FaceTime and this Zoom, I had me at such a party online, sitting in here, drinking my Kahlua and eggnog, y'all, please. I was, uh, it was a party up in here. Yes, it was. By myself, but not alone. You heard what I said, y'all. By myself, but not alone. Be on that Zoom. I be on that Zoom. Be on that FaceTime. <laughs> Uh, but I had a I had a good time, and um, also bringing the new year in watching Wonder Woman eighty four on on um what the hell was I on HBO Max y'all if y'all have any Linda Carter fans out there Wonder Woman was my shit <laughs> back in the days yo Wonder Woman. All I'm saying is you would enjoy that movie. I think it's only streaming for a limited time as well. So if you are interested in watching it, get on it. Because it won't be there for long. But um, Wonder Woman 84. So yeah, that's how I brought in my new year. Kalu and Agna, Wonder Woman 84. And Zoom and FaceTime. Yo, I had me a time up in here. Dancing back. Playing with my little dog. Saying Happy New Year to my bunny. Feeding my fish. And calling my kids online. Speaking to my grandbaby. Yeah, that was my new year. That was my new year. I've never brought in a new year by myself, but all I can say is I loved it. The solitude, the peacefulness, the calm and tranquility, I felt just being with me. That was awesome. That was awesome. So, I mean, kudos to everybody who partied up. I mean, I heard them partying it up and arguing and then wanting to fight i mean come on guys come on come on like y'all was just drinking the night away having a good old time and then when you leave the bar y'all gotta fight why why come on this is 2021 time for us to mature time for us to be about that self-improvement time for us to stop with the shenanigans okay let's stop shit Time for us to do some bigger and better things. But before I get off track, let's get back to my philodendron. My philodendron. I'm sorry if I keep on singing, y'all. Let me know if I should stop, if y'all don't mind, or if you don't mind. But I'm a singer, and this is my channel. I mean, I'm not officially a singer, but I just like to sing. So... From time to time, I will be singing. Anyway. I'm forgetting the name of this philodendron. I so badly want to tell you guys the name of this philodendron. I'm just going to drop it down below. Because I like know the name, but I don't know the name. I don't know why it's escaping me. But it's it just hit me that it's bothering me right now that I don't know the name of this philodendron so anyhow back to her that's how she's gonna be placed and lord if i don't stop forgetting y'all i know i can't be the only one so i don't want to take this whole thing because i'm gonna make an even bigger mess than i am making now so I'm trying to be as neat about this as I can. But, uh, eh. This is a little, I think I want some more perlite in this one. I'm going to add some more perlite, y'all. I 
I am going to add some more pearlite. You can see that pearlite bag back there. Back, back there. I'm going to get that bag. Yep, I'm going to reach and get that bag. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I got my pearlite. I'm going to add some more in here. I just... Like... just didn't appreciate how dark that soil was looking to me. I need some light up in there I mean if y'all don't know perlite is good for the aeration of the soil you know it helps in maintaining the um, amount of water that you you know put into your plants and it helps to um, well, I should say it decreases you getting root rot because it allows the soil to dry out quicker. And I definitely need that using the pots that I'm using. These pots are these pots are um, painted and highly glossed over which means they will not dry out as quickly as a you know regular ceramic pot because of the paint and the gloss you know it stops air from really circulating therefore the soil cannot dry and will not dry as fast as probably the roots would like so i'm definitely going to need this pearlite in there. Okay, for the third time, which you miss philodendron. Okay, let's get you in your home. This is an air root, probably can't see it. This is an air root, so I will not worry about putting that in the soil. Not at all, will not worry about it. So I wanna pack in the soil. Make sure she's nice and snug and there's no air pockets. And there she is. Don't worry, I'm going to give you guys a better look at these plants. Just give me a second to kind of clean off this area. I mean, damn, it is dirty. I'll be right back with you. Hold on. Okay, guys, you can see we are back. And here is my queen philodendron she is potted up all nicely very pretty in her riviera maya um, mexican pot that's how she looks here is here she is from all angles this leaf right here y'all ah oh, that leaf right there just be saying some things to me the way it catch that light, okay? All right, so this is the philodendron. Here is the Schefflera. This is how she looks in her pot. All nicely potted up here are the angles. As you can see, she is leaning to a side and that is because of the way she was growing she is stretching for the sun and um i do try and make it my business to turn my plants every um every week when i water them but where she's placed on on this black shelf behind me it kind of it's a hard place for her and you know she's adjusting 
I mean, she, she liked it enough because, you know, she continually grew for me, but she's growing at a slant. So hopefully in her new Mexican pot, she can straighten herself right up and just be, you know, as nice as she can be. But that's lovely number two. And look at our baby. Oh, this is actually a white Syngonium, or as you may know it by the um, common name, um, Arrowhead. This is the baby. This is the baby. This is the newest cutting that I had got in last year, maybe, I want to say October. October, mid-October is when I acquired this cutting and from then until now is when, <laughs> is how long she's been rooting and growing her roots. So like I showed you guys, her roots were very well established. So those are my three babies all potted up for you guys. Okay, video number one is done. I do appreciate you guys for watching my channel. I will absolutely try and make more regular um, videos, but as my schedule loosens up, I will get more videos turned out for you. But like I said, again, Happy New Year. Enjoy 2021. Do make it do something awesome for you. Much better than 2020 did. I know I am working on that. And I hope you guys are as well. And so I'm going to end this video by saying bye guys. Thank you for watching. And do please subscribe. Oh, you see how I almost forgot that? Please give me a like and do subscribe if you like my channel. I'm trying to grow something up for you guys. Let me know what else you might want to see. Oh, one thing I, I do have to mention is I do make... um what is it sand art design in vases in in vases similar to this i make sand art designs and um i am willing to show i'm trying to see if i actually have one <sighs> i do make sand art designs as i was saying and i am willing to show you guys the process of how I do it and also teach you if that is something that you're interested in learning. Um, um, let me know in the comments below if you are interested in learning how to make sand art designs. Um, it does not have to be in that size vase. You can make it in any vase that you choose. Um, you know, it all depends on how much time you have to, you know, put toward that kind of artwork. But I have a, a couple of designs and um, I will be willing to share them with you and, you know, help you guys make these sandar vases for yourself. So if you are interested, drop a comment below and um, let me know and uh we'll we'll get that video up and going okay guys so again like and subscribe and i'm out denisha recherche flora guys bye now